Bad enough. We got to go chasing Klaus when they're in front of us. Slow day comes along, and we got to go out looking for him. Uh, How did it go? Oh, we uh, marked a couple of artillery positions, but it's pretty quiet, Lieutenant. You think the boys are up to another little hike? Well, Lieutenant, we just got back from recon just this minute. We must have walked 20 miles already today. Right, little John? At least. What's the matter, Kirby? Too tired? But, uh, I ain't never been one to complain, but. I'm just about a complete physical wreck. Hey, I got a toe here that you wouldn't believe. Where do we go, Lieutenant? Where you gone? Where you gone? Well, that's deserted, isn't it? Yeah, there's an intelligence officer caught himself an SS colonel. He also got a little leg wound, so he's playing it safe. He called in for an assist. Just on a lousy luck. Saunders, you know, I, I think maybe we better let Kirby sit this one out if his foot's really bothering him. Let's check your map. about a sore toe and they get to stay home. Never been one to complain, huh? <laughs> Let me take a look at that toe. I'll fix it. Wait a minute. So get, get out of here. Look, you ain't a foot specialist. Now, Lupin knows what he's doing. I'm going to get with my foot. Go on. It's only so toe, Lieutenant. What's this become the Kirby Day? The S2 officer's name is Eddie Kopachek. He's engaged to Kirby's sister. Kirby's been pestering me for the past month to locate him ever since he found out he was over here. Okay, settle up. The cage, Little John, Doc. Nah. Well, Sergeant, look, it's really in bad shape. You saw for yourself coming in here. I could barely even put my weight on it. Well, you better sit this one out, Kirby. Take care of it. Oh, Lieutenant, what did you say the name of that officer was? Oh. Copa check. Eddie Kopachek. He's waiting for you in the mayor's office. Eddie Kopachek. Okay, let's go. Kopachek? Ha! Hey, Lieutenant! Hey, hey, you guys wait for me! Oh, Kirby, I hope your toe feels better. Oh, hey, thanks, Lieutenant. Sarge, I just want to see the look on Oleti's face when he sees me. I remember when he first moved on the block, must have both been about eight years old then. Uh, I, was, I was kidding you about a funny looking pair of knickers he had on or something. He hauled off and let me have one I don't think I'm ever going to forget. We've been good friends ever since. The last time I saw him was the night before he went to OCS and he came in the house and he asked my sister Ruthie to marry him. I tell you, we really tied one on that night. <laughs> Hey, Sarge, you don't think Lieutenant Hanley let me have 48 hour pass when we get back, do you? You know, uh, we got a lot of catching up to do, Eddie and me. Yeah, yeah. I think if you tell it to the Lieutenant the same way, he'll buy it. Hey, thanks, Sarge. You stay out. Stay out. Did you 
King 2, this is Whitebrook. King 2, this is Whitebrook. Over. Doc. Officer. He had a prisoner, an SS colonel. He 
His men caught us. And the colonel interrogated the Americans. He didn't answer questions. He beat him to death. I tried to escape. And they shot me. What colonel? What colonel? Kirby. I know his name. What did he look like? Big. Dark. Where did he go? Where is he now? Staff car. Road to Avignon. You better let him rest a while, Sergeant. Not much to go on. No, we got what we need, Sergeant. We know we know what he looks like and which direction he took. Let's go. Take it easy, Kirby. We can't go after him until we check it out with Lieutenant Hamlet. Doc, did you contact him? No, I couldn't find him. All right, Kirby, I'll try to make contact. Intelligence wants him real bad. The house clean, sir. Where's Kirby? I don't know. I saw him going down the street a while ago. That way. He was really moving. I should have figured he'd try something like this. He told us that the SS colonel was headed towards Avignon. Yet here on this map, our intelligence shows there are no Germans in Avignon. I've heard the Bosch have a camp one kilometer this side of the town. That's all I know. We're going to be moving out of here. Is there a doctor we can take you to? Near my home. I have a farm just north of here. If you could bring me there, my wife will get him. Cage, give Duck a hand. Let's go.
Il y a un médecin qui habite là-bas, au, au bout de la route. Je vais aller chercher. Il y a un docteur qui vit sur la route. Je vais aller le prendre et prendre son mari. Je vais aller voir. Au revoir, madame. Bonne chance. Merci.
It would seem a personal vendetta. I was a prisoner a short while of a Lieutenant Kopachek. Luckily, some of my men came to my aid. And Lieutenant Kopachek and I found our positions reversed. You're gonna kill me now. Get my hands on your neck, I'll wring your head off. Yes, I'm sure you would. I command your courage in coming here, soldier. Of course, it was very foolish. And now you will tell me everything I want to know about your unit. I know you murdered me like you did Lady Kopachek. Murder you? In war, there's no such thing as murder. Lieutenant Kopachek was a very stubborn man. No one enjoys killing. Cut me loose from this chair and see. Thank you. 
When they spot you, take off through those woods. Sorry, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to take him back this way. I stand a chance if you can keep him off our tail. Remember, keep a safe distance between you and those crowds. All right, don't worry, Sarge. Once we're in those woods, we'll lose them. Besides, what if he... Kirby, move out. All right, let's go!
are you doing here? I told you to stay with the others. Uh, I thought that you might need some help with him. Now, you listen to me. We were sent to bring this man in, and that's just what we're going to do. He's going to be tried for Eddie Kopachek's murder. Don't worry, he's going to hang Kirby. Hang? Don't understand, Sergeant. What are you accusing me you of? You already admitted to me you beat him to death. Kirby, take it easy. On my honor as an officer, Sergeant, I never heard the name of this Kopachek before this moment. I never discussed him with this Sergeant's man. trying to lie his way out of it. Well, he won't. There's a witness. A Frenchman. Remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. You're gonna hang. This Frenchman, this witness, uh, what is all this about? You thought you left him dead, didn't you? Okay, move. I tell you I did nothing, Sergeant. Then you have nothing to worry about. That's it, let's go. <laughs> How badly wounded is he? What I had in mind is that people in that condition sometimes make mistakes in identification. We're gonna fry a little, huh, Carl? Now look, soldier. I had heard of the Kopitschek incident from one of my fellow officers. And when you accused me of the crime, I admitted it. Only to work you up to an emotionally rational state. It's a common device used during interrogations. Your own intelligence officers will admit to that. Oh, keep trying, Carl. It does me good to hear it. All right, let's go. What? Ain't the Frenchman going to identify his crop for us? Right, so let's go. Well, Sarge, what, what? Sergeant, uh, this witness, he's dead, isn't he? He is dead, ain't he? Oh, for nothing. He's gonna get away with it. He's not gonna get away with anything, Kirby. I don't think Eddie Kopachek was the only one. There'll be other witnesses. Get moving. Sergeant, I respectfully request that this man be disarmed. Get up and 
and turn around. What are you doing? Go on, turn around. You cannot do this. You cannot. I can't. Well, why is that? Would it be murder or something like that? Did you tell me there's no such thing as murder or war? Okay, Sarge. Get Bruna. Can you make it out of here?
with you, Sergeant. Soldier. Hey, soldier. Hey, soldier, hold it. Turn around. I said turn around. That man kill me, Sergeant. Please, Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant, please. Don't let him kill me. Sergeant! Don't! Sergeant! Don't let him kill me, Sergeant. Please. Sergeant. seem worth killing anymore. Forget a medic. Sarge. Thanks. 